I really don't know where to begin. I just want to thank everyone for the tremendous outpour of love and support that I've received. I never in a million years would have thought that I would have to stand here in front of my family, friends, and loved ones and reminisce on my mom. I want to take this time to share a story I have with my mom. One of the most cherished memories that I'll probably ever have. I was born in Norwich, New York. And once my parents and I moved back to North Tonawanda, I never had a chance to see where I was born, the place that we lived, and where my father worked. A few years ago, we took a vacation to Corning, which is a place that she went to when she was a young girl. We had so much fun that day. We even got a chance to blow our own glass. She made an ornament and I made a paperweight. She had to help me because the heat from the glass was so warm, I kind of got scared. After Corning, we drove to the, Le the Lucy Museum. She loved I Love Lucy. We then went to Norwich, where she took me to the hospital where I was born, the apartment that we lived in, and even the ice cream stand that she would go to when she was pregnant with me. I'll never forget the look on her face. How fulfilled she was because she always wanted to take me there. She was so full of life, and that's how I'll always remember her. The last few years were filled with dreams and aspirations for our family to become whole again. She loved each and every one of you. That's something I want you to know. I'll never forget her laugh, her beautiful brown eyes, <laughs> and her crazy hair. <laughs> and when she would even get mad, um, her triangle nostrils, her triangular nostrils. I always knew when she was mad, just by looking at her nose. We would always joke about that. She had the best sense of humor of anyone that I've ever met. She would always try to find the good in every situation. And when she couldn't, she knew that she had the love and support of her friends and family to get her through anything. It's so hard when something like this happens out of the blue. You don't have time to prepare yourself for something like this. And even if you did, I don't think the pain would be any less. She always felt like she was here for a reason, and at times she never knew what that was. It's clear to me now that her purpose on earth was to be my mom. <laughs> she may not have always done the right things, but at the end of the day, I always came first. That's what I'll remember for her. She was so giving and so caring. When I was younger, she would give me the last ten dollars that she had just so I could go see a movie with some friends. I have faith that she's watching over me right now with a big smile on her face. <laughs> I love her so much. And that's one thing I know she'll never forget. My love for her is everlasting, and it's going to be so hard for me to get through this. But with her light shining over me, I know that I can face anything. I want to end this with a lyric from a song that she would always sing to me, even when I was a baby. Forget your lust for the rich man's gold. All that you need is in your soul. And you can do this if you try. 
All that I want for you, my son, is to be satisfied. <laughs> Boy, don't you worry. You'll find yourself. Follow your heart and nothing else. And you can do this if you try. All I want for you, my son, is to be satisfied. <laughs> she got me this ring on my birthday last year and it says wherever you are you'll always be in my heart and I know that no matter where she is She'll always be in my heart. And I love you, Mom. <laughs> and I thank you guys for the support. It means so much to me, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry.